first thing you want to do is get some wall filler or poly filler. You can get this pre-mixed or you can mix it yourself. And what I'm going to be using is an old jar that I painted about two years ago that I really don't like. And I'm going to change it up a little bit. First thing you want to do is get something like a spatula or any kind of tool that you can use to just slather everything onto the pot. And the main thing you want to do is make sure that the very edges are neat. Everything else you can be quite rough with it. And you just want to layer it quite roughly at the moment. And just keep going around. And you're going to have to hold this up while you're doing it just so that it doesn't touch the floor and then end up getting all wrecked. And make sure that the edges are neat. So you just want to scrape around the bottom and then spread it further along the jar. Still slightly wet, I'm going to run my finger along the bottom just to scoop away anything which might be jutting out a little bit too much. And then next I'm going to use some seashells just to make a few imprints into the wall filler. Now what you want to do is you want to put some kind of dust over it, otherwise it's going to stick and you're going to end up with little bits of polyfiller all over the shell. So you can use flour, you could use salt, you want to use something that's quite finely milled. So if you don't have flour, you can also use baby powder, that would work very well as well. And you just want to roll it into the polyfiller so that it leaves an imprint. After that I want to take some small stones and you can normally get these from any kind of DIY or home improvement store. And you can get these for things like plant pots but I'm going to be using them for this jar. And I'm going to be filling in the very top part of the jar and then once that's done I'm going to start sticking the stones at the very top of it and you're going to need to press this in with your fingers. Once I've stuck the stones in, I'm going to take some watercolour and I'm going to be mixing in some yellows, some browns and then a little bit of green as well. You want to take a large paintbrush, something which is going to pick up the colour and disperse it quite heavily and just run this really loosely over the jar. And what's going to happen is all the colour is going to settle on the imprints that you've done with the shell. And you don't have to be very neat with this, if anything the messier the better. If you want, you can also use a dark colour, or something else you could do is you could use little splotches of different kind of colours all over. So you could have a more green tone in one place, a more red tone in another. It really depends on what you want to do. You want to finish off by spray painting it with a clear varnish. And that's it. You're done.